Hello friends, how are you doing today? I'm your Ramandeep Singh. Back again with another interview session जो आपको बताएगा कि एक सिक्स बैंक के आल स्पीकिंग इंटरव्यू कैसे होती है आ, ये वीडियो आप उन सब स्टूडेंट्स को बहुत हेल्प करने वाली है जो 5.5 के आसपास आके रुक जाते हैं और सिक्स बैंड स्कोर नहीं कर पाते हैं इस वीडियो के हर एक क्वेश्चन को बहुत ध्यान से सुनिएगा और रियलाइज़ कीजिएगा कि स्टूडेंट ने ऐसा क्या किया कि इसको सिक्स बैंड एग्जामिनर को देने पड़े इस वीडियो के एंड में आपको मार्किंग क्राइटेरिया के बारे में भी पता चलेगा कि कौन कौन से पैरामीटर्स को ध्यान रखकर एग्जामिनर आपको स्कोर करता है बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो एंड आई मूव इन टू द एग्जामिनेशन रूम आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू गाइस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एप्लीकेशन व्हिच इज गोइंग टू रियली हेल्प यू इन इंप्रूविंग योर इंग्लिश ये एप्लीकेशन है कैम्बली कैम्बली एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग ऐप है जो बच्चों को हेल्प करता है अपनी लैंग्वेज इम्प्रूव करने में ज़्यादातर स्टूडेंट्स का ये कंसर्न रहता है कि उनको कंपनी नहीं मिल पाती कि वो इंग्लिश अपनी प्रैक्टिस कर पाएँ क्लासरूम के बाद उनको कोई ना कोई चाहिए जिसके साथ वो अपनी इंग्लिश को प्रैक्टिस कर सकें मैं हमेशा ही आपको कई सारी चीज़ों के बारे में बताता रहता हूँ ये आज मैं आपको बताता हूँ कि कैसे आप कैमली एप्लीकेशन को डाउनलोड करने के बाद बहुत सारे ऑनलाइन ट्यूटर्स के साथ अपनी इंग्लिश को इम्प्रूव भी कर सकते हैं और प्रैक्टिस भी कर सकते हैं लेट्स हैव अ क्विक लुक एट दिस एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ इट वर्क तो लेट मी शो यू हाउ दिस कैमली एप वर्क सबसे पहले आपको प्ले स्टोर से कैमली को डाउनलोड करना है जिसका आइकन आपको कुछ ऐसा नजर आएगा और इस आइकन को आप जैसे ही प्रेस करेंगे तो आपके सामने ये कैमली ऐप खुल जाएगा और यहाँ पर आपको टॉप पे बार्स नज़र आ रहे हैं जिसमें होम ट्यूटर्स और टॉपिक्स रहते हैं बट हम यहाँ पर आपको शो करेंगे कि कैसे आप एक लाइव ट्यूटर के साथ अपनी इंग्लिश के प्रॉब्लम्स डिस्कस कर सकते हो कुछ नया लर्न कर सकते हो Uh, मेरे पास यहाँ पर एक लिस्ट uh, आ गई है जो भी अभी ट्रेनर्स ऑनलाइन हैं साथ में शो रहा है कितने मिनट्स के लिए वो ऑनलाइन है लेट्स टॉक टू दिस गाय हु इज़ इन कैनेडा एंड द नेम इज शॉन लेट्स सी वी कैन कनेक्ट टू हिम हाय देर शॉन हाउ आर यू आई एम प्री ऑल राइट Uh, I have a quick question for you, right? Uh, I'll be traveling to Canada soon, right, okay. for a few holidays. Can you help me with a couple of slangs that are common among Canadians? Word that Canadians like are known for using is a, right? The Canadians will use like this kind of expression after their like all of their sentences, and this tells. Uh, other canadians but also like the rest of the world that you are canadian like you know uh, beautiful weather out eh hey you know, okay kind of isn't uh, i yeah isn't it almost yeah. the same thing right mm-hmm. but we just use a like the very um funny joke how much we use a mm-hmm. is there's a joke right yeah yeah so, uh, how how did canada get its name a right So how they got their name was uh three politicians came together mm-hmm. and they had a bunch of letters in a in a bag. Right. So each one would pick out a letter. So the first politician came and uh he picked out the letter C. So he said, "I got the letter C, eh?" Mhm. And then the next politician came and they picked out the letter N. Uh-huh. And he said, "I got the letter N, eh?" And then the next politician came and he said, "Oh, I got the letter D, A." Eh? So, how did it become C, A, N, A, D, A? That's a good one. Uh, we don't really. We also don't say like beer can. Uh, so if you have a big beer, we call it a forty. Forty. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, the type of size. So mm-hmm. if you have a big, big one, it's a forty. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, just a, a regular is a Mickey. Mickey. So uh, up there in Australia, we call them stubbies. For stubbies. for the small ones, yeah. And the big ones, they are the bottlenecks. Thanks, mate. It's been a good session with you, and uh, definitely yeah. catch you some other time. Ciao. Take care.
how are you today? I'm fine, thanks to us. Uh -huh. uh, are you ready for the speaking test today? Yes. Sir. Uh, may I know your name, please? My name is Sharon Prison. And Sharon, can I have your passport, please? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. So, Sharon Preet, where do you come from? Actually, I am from small village. It is in Mogga, which is in northern part of India. Okay. Tell me more about your hometown. Of course, why not? My hometown is a, a countryside. It is a vast majority of people are engaged to agriculture. Mm -hmm. Just few uh, people are doing government jobs. How do people generally travel to work in your hometown? Well, in my hometown, people generally travel to their work with their own vehicle, but there is also public transport available for people. Mm -hmm. Are there any interesting places to visit in your hometown? Definitely, there are a couple of uh, places that people can uh, visit. Uh, for example, there is a historical temple, which is one of the most attractive places for tourists. Mm -hmm. Any other place? Well, there are a number of parks available uh, for general public. Uh, why people like to visit these places? Uh, to my mind, uh, their people uh, have a keen interest uh, to know about their history uh, and their culture. So that's why uh, people uh, visit uh, these places more. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you a few more questions related to driving. Of course. Do you drive a car? Uh, definitely, I drive a car. I have a driving license. Mm -hmm. How important is it to know how to drive these days? Certainly it is extremely important uh, how to drive a car. Uh, because cars uh, provide a uh, personal mobility, uh, people can conveniently travel from one place to other. Mm -hmm. What is your dream car? Actually my dream car is Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because uh, Ferrari is the one of the most expensive car in this world and uh, I have a dream to buy it. At the same time, it is the uh, fastest car of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, what problems do you think cars create? Well, cars create a number of problems. First of all, uh, traffic problem is one of the major problems that uh, uh, can seen anywhere on roads. So, uh, moreover, cars are also uh, contributed for air pollution. Uh, yes, they are. Let me ask you a few more questions related to study. Of course. Uh, do you prefer to study alone or with your friends? Uh, to be honest, I prefer to study alone because uh, I have need to concentrate on my academics. So that's why I prefer to study alone rather than okay. studying. What different. is the best place for you to study outside your home? The best place for study is library because it is a quiet place and we can uh, uh, concentrate uh, on study. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer to listen music while they study. What do you think about them? In my opinion, people prefer to uh, listen music while they are studying because in this way it, uh, they can learn things along with their along with music. Mm -hmm. for, for example, number of searches uh, reveal that uh, music helps to remember things for a long time. Should children be allowed to use internet for their study? I agree. Sometimes children, uh, students have a, a number of doubts. So they cannot uh, clear uh, these uh, doubts uh, in classrooms. But with the help of internet, they can easily solve their doubts. Mm -hmm. But do you think that internet can have negative impact on young children as well? Unfortunately, as children in these days uh, are waste their time on internet uh, uh, rather than for productive use, uh, they use internet for their entertainment purpose. Yeah. Yes, uh, and that is the end of part one of this test and I, I will move on to part two. Okay. I'll give you one cue card and you will have one minute to prepare your answer. Then you have to deliver a speech for around one to two minutes. Okay. If you want, you can make some notes as well. Here is a paper and a pencil. So here is your cue card. You need to talk about a game you played in childhood. What game it was, with whom you played, and why you enjoyed it so much. Okay. Your preparation time starts now for one minute. Your one minute preparation time is over. Please start your answer. 
Well, in my childhood time, I enjoy a lot of games, especially indoor and outdoor. But here I would like to talk about a game that I enjoyed in childhood, and it is hide and seek. It is still very popular among youngster, uh, young kids uh, of my country. I still remember power cuts were very frequent in those days, and I still remember I used to play this game with my siblings and neighborhood friends. Our parents never stop us to play this game because they know that it is extremely important for physical and mental fitness. At the same time, it is safe game for children. In this game, one child take the den and others hide. After that, one who give the den has to find the others. It is extremely easy game because there are not many rules to follow. Mm. I still remember I often hide under the bed or sometime hide and hide the sofa. It really helped to children to spend some time with their siblings and neighborhood friends. I never forget the time when my friends uh, hide uh, under a big dustbin and he smelled like a garbage. As a child, I had a lot of fun and uh, enjoyment by playing this game. Overall, due to all of these reasons, it was my favorite game. Um, thank you very much. Do you still play this game sometimes? Definitely. Whenever I get some time, I prefer to play this game with my neighborhood friends. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel when you see little kids playing childhood games? Could you repeat your question? Why not? How do you feel when you see children playing childhood games? To be honest, when I see children to play this game, at that time I recall my memories which are engaged with this game. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a few more questions related to the similar topic. Okay. How youngsters' interest over the period has changed in games in your country? Well, there is a drastic change in interest of youngsters towards games because in these days, uh, youngsters prefer to uh, play games on computer rather than on in real world. Mm -hmm. For example, in these days, children do not show any interest on uh, in outdoor games. Uh, they prefer to uh, spend their time on computer games. Why? I can say that due to busy schedule of youngsters uh, uh, and there are no many open spaces to play these kind of games. That's why young generation do not show any interest in these games. Mm -hmm. What do you think can be done to develop interest of youngsters towards outdoor games? To my mind, there are a couple of steps that can be taken by parents as well as government. Parents need to develop the interest of their children into sports activities, as well as government has need to develop the infrastructure of sports facilities. Mm -hmm. Do you think that schools can also play a part? Definitely. School can play a crucial role in the development of interest into these activities. They can organize number of events uh, which are related to sports. Uh, uh, I still remember when I was in, in school, our school organized number of uh, uh, sport events uh, which are related to uh, number of uh, sport activities. Moreover, physical education should be compulsory in schools. Very right. How different are the sports that men play from those that women play in your country? In my opinion, there is no much difference between sports of men as well as women. These days, uh, women are playing all those sports that men play. For example, my country uh, have a team of cricket as well as hockey of women. How important is to broadcast sports through television channels? Definitely, it is a need of time. Telecasting uh, sports events on, on television is the best way of entertainment. Uh, apart from it, it is the best way to attach young generation with sport activities. Very right. What do you think about the sponsorship in sports? What I believe is, sponsorship play a crucial role uh, to promote sports activities at world level mm -hmm. because they pay heavily to sports persons. At the same time, they organize mega events at world level, which are very beneficial for the world of sports. Very right. My last question to you is, how do you think that broadcasting of sports will change in future? It is hard to predict the future, but I believe that in future there would be more focus on local tournaments. In future, there will be many sports channels that would telecast local tournaments along with international tournaments. 
Very right. Thank you very much, Mr. Sharpree. And that is the end of your test. Have a good day. Thank you, sir.